Hello and welcome. This will be an overview on Infor's data fabric feature, Stream Pipelines. In today's fast-paced digital landscape, organizations need access to real-time data to stay competitive and make informed decisions. With data fabric Stream Pipelines, our main objective is to provide our customers with real-time streaming data processing and delivery capabilities to support operational data access and reporting in cloud-based relational data systems. As an advanced data delivery system, it is designed to easily define, deploy, and operate push-based data pipelines that transfer data to a customer's managed relational database system, such as PostgreSQL. As a feature, Stream Pipelines offers a visual code-free interface, making it accessible to both technical and non-technical users. When data is ingested through real-time streaming ingestion, records are replicated into Data Lake and sent to the Destin database as soon as a data event occurs, allowing for more synchronous and efficient processing. Additionally, when data is delivered through Infor-Ion or Batch APIs, records must go through Data Lake first before it's streamed into the Destin database. Once that process is complete, Stream Pipelines pushes the records from the data objects further downstream. To get a better sense of this, let's see this in action and dive right in. So now that we're in the Data Fabric application, let's get started by creating a destination, which will serve as our connection to the relational database system that will be consuming our data. Here you can see several destinations previously created, as well as how many active and inactive pipelines are connected to them. To create a new destination, first select the PostgreSQL database you wish to connect to. At the time of recording this video, Stream Pipelines support streaming to Amazon Aurora PostgreSQL, as well as Azure Database for PostgreSQL, with more destinations to be added in the future. After that, you can provide the naming and hosting details below before saving. For our demoing purposes, I'll be connecting to this destination, which we can further test and confirm that the service is connected properly. Since the test was successful, we can create our stream pipeline now. To do so, you can navigate to the stream pipelines tab Here you can view previously created pipelines and their current statuses. To create a new pipeline, select Create New and provide the pipeline's name and destination. Now let's drag and drop a subscription and define the data object you wish to utilize. From here, I'll be selecting a demo object from our data lake. From this, you can see all of the fields and properties of our data object stored in our data lake. Note that you can also customize the subscription name as well as the delivery name once you are done. Next, you can select and define a table as your delivery point within your target database. You can also choose your loading method of either insert or upsert. Do note that you'll need to confirm the column properties are congruent in field ID and respective type between your original data object and target selected table. Once everything is reviewed and saved, we can start running the pipeline. Now, everything is up and running successfully. To further visualize, we can update a field in our data object via Infor's ERP solution M3. Here, we can select our data object and begin to edit. Let's start by editing a field. So filter options. And we'll just add in some information here and select enter. This will now be visible in our pipelines overview. To view the progress of data load streaming, you can go to the pipelines overview. Here we can see how many loads have been processed and successfully delivered, 
and with the one record that we just initially saved in our data object in M3. Below, we can also view how many have failed to deliver and how many retries to push the data were attempted, also known as replays. All of which you can filter by date range and differentiate by recent live data events and initial uploads, which allow for pushing all data in your data object to your destination. For failed deliveries, associated error messages are stored in the replay queue, which will be reflected at the top of the dashboard. You can view streaming errors and their statuses under the replay queue tab on the left, as you can see here, or directly in the Stream Pipelines Overview dashboard. Like this, for example. So here we have a list of error messages. By drilling down on the alert, you can identify the error and resolve the issue before reattempting to send the data back through the pipeline. To learn more about the differing error types the replay queue may display, please refer to the documentation link below to learn more about their specifications and how to handle them. Here's another example of an error message and the associated description. Do note, however, that the error message will expire within seven days from the UI, even if not acted upon. So make sure to address the underlying data issue accordingly. Once that is done, you can resend the data via the replay button to the right. And that concludes the demo. Thanks for watching. For more information, check out the links in the description and make sure to subscribe to get the latest content.